Hi everyone, Samantha here from Holistic Wellness, nutritionist and women's holistic health coach. I'm sharing with you today a simple do-it-yourself recipe for aching muscles, and we're using essential oils. So I've got peppermint and lavender, two amazing oils that are going to help soothe those aching muscles of yours. So maybe after the gym, you might be feeling a little bit sore, or maybe you've been sitting all day and working on the computer and you've just got that like sort of tightness and stiffness going on in your body. So that's where peppermint and lavender come in. So peppermint is really cooling. So of course, after you've worked out and there's a lot of heat going on and more inflammation throughout the body, peppermint is gonna be really cool, cooling and help to soothe that. And then um, lavender on the opposite is the opposite. It's more warming and it's very relaxing and it's very calming. So the both of them blended together are amazing for, uh, for aching muscles. So we are going to use, uh, we're gonna put this into a roller ball, like a roller bomb recipe, and we're gonna use this in a 10 ml bottle. And you will have to mix this with, a, with an oil, so um, with a carrier oil. So you can either use sweet almond oil, fractionated coconut oil, you can use some jojoba oil. That's what I'm gonna use today. I'm gonna use the jojoba oil. It's really soothing and nourishing on the skin, um, really therapeutic and really moisturizing as well. So I think it goes really well with the peppermint and the lavender in this blend. Okay, so really simple. Got our 10 ml ball bottle, and we are going to add in about 20 to 30 drops of peppermint, all right? Okay, we've got that. Now onto our lavender, the same amount. And you can actually even use a little bit more. So with your 10 mils, you typically wanna use anywhere from 30 to 40 drops. If you're using a smaller bottle, like a five mil, you wanna use maybe roughly um, you know, 10 drops, give or take. Uh, so it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, and then we've got, so we've got both of our essential oils in there. Now we're just gonna top it up with our jojoba oil. And we are just gonna put this just to the top. You gotta remember to leave some space because you have to put the roller ball on top, right? Okay, so you add that in, just push it all the way down. And then you put your cap on there and you're done. It's such a simple recipe that you can roll on to aching muscles after the gym, maybe even before you go to bed or at night while you're maybe you know chilling out and reading your book and relaxing at night. And then what I like to do is I like to print off labels because I make a lot of my own do-it-yourself recipes at home and beauty care recipes. And so for me, I really want to, I, I gotta know what I'm using because I've got a ton of these around the house. So I print off labels and you can design them and make them fun at home. And this way you just know exactly which one it is you're using. And so it's great to make a lot of these do-it-yourself recipes at home because you know exactly what's in it. Three simple ingredients. There's no SLS and parabens and funky preservatives and weird perfumes and fragrances. This is all about using natural, clean, and main, sometimes organic, if you can get your hands on them as well, just clean ingredients. Stuff that isn't going to wreak havoc on your hormones. Um, you know exactly what's in it and it's not going to disrupt your endocrine system. It's not going to affect the hormones and you can feel safe and good about using them and making them at home. All right, so thanks so much for joining me for more do-it-yourself recipes and clean beauty tips, information on balancing your hormones, managing weight, and all information on women's health, head on over to holisticwellness.ca. And if you're interested in any of the oils that I used in this video, don't hesitate to click on the link below. All right, thanks so much guys, see you next time.